up for sale now Vehicle Max. We have a beautiful 2013 Cadillac SRX Premium Collection. Charcoal gray on the outside with dove gray leather interior. Completely loaded up with factory 20 inch polished wheels. Factory navigation with color backup camera that has parking guidelines. Factory panoramic power moonroof. Front and rear parking sensors. Heated seats, cool seats, power tailgate, lane departure warning, and a number of other options that I'll get into in just a minute. It is only 28,000 miles and is still under the balance of a four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty, which is followed by a five year, 100,000 mile powertrain warranty. We're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is our zip code. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 31,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A-plus rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the homepage, you have a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our um, rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. This vehicle has a clean title and also qualifies for Carfax's buyback guarantee as well as for an extended warranty. It also has the intelligent type key and I'll show you how that works. First of all, I'm going to show you the remote start. The vehicle has to be locked up. Press and hold this little circle here. And the card starts right up. This is a really neat feature, especially in the summer when it's nice and hot outside. As long as you had the air conditioning when you last left the vehicle, when the car comes on, sold with the AC, and when it would, um, and uh, it'll, it'll cool the car down for you. In the winter, the opposite. As long as you had the heater on when you last left the vehicle, when the car comes on, sold with the heater, and when it reaches enough temperature, it'll warm up the car for you. When you're ready to uh, drive off, just unlock the vehicle, press the start button, and you're ready to go. If you decide you change your mind, you don't want to drive off at the moment, you just want to uh, cool down the car or turn it on. You want to turn it off, just press the circle again, and the car turns right off. All right, uh, let me show you how the intelligent key works. This is the type of key that you put in your pocket, and you never really have to take it out of it. All four door handles have a little rectangular button. You press it one time for that door, and quickly thereafter for all three other doors. Keep an eye on the power lock here. One. And now all three other doors, all four other doors are open. Okay. All right, the door panels in the front are charcoal black with a light gray. Of course, we got power windows, power door locks, cruise control, tilt wheel. You got power folding mirrors, power tailgate. You can open the power tailgate by pressing the switch right on this door here, your, or by your remote control, or by simply squeezing the tailgate handle. Illuminated kick plates, dual power seat, power recliner, and lumbar support. Driver's side memory for up to two drivers. You do have uh, Rosen DVDs uh, on the headrest. I'll get those uh, turned on for you in just a little bit once we turn on the car. And we'll come back here in just a little bit. Let's go ahead and uh, get inside of it now. Um, before I sit down, let me pan over the seating area now so you can see it's in great shape without any cuts, tears, or burn holes. Matter of fact, there's no burn holes anywhere in the seats, door panels, headliner, or carpeting. And this note or a smoke, so it looks like the previous owner may have been a non-smoker. Curtain side airbags as well as seat side airbags. All right, let me go ahead and get inside. We'll get it started. You do have also automatic headlights that come on at sunset and come up for sunrise, and a manual uh, tilt steering column. Okay, so once you get inside the car, the vehicle senses the keys nearby, and all you gotta do is step on the brake and hit the push button start. All right. Okay, all right, um, let's start off with the panoramic moonroof. Let's go ahead and put the uh, navigation here. Um, let's go to home. By the way, this panel here, when you tap on it, it vibrates. You click nav and give that a second to boot up. And there's your navigation. Also, when you put the vehicle in reverse, you get your color backup camera. Let me show you how that goes. Put the vehicle in reverse. And there's your color backup camera and you also have parking guidelines. Now I'm going to turn the steering wheel to show you how the parking guidelines work. Uh, you're going to hear a rubbing sound that's going to be the tires against our epoxy flooring. I don't want you to think you're hearing a uh, problem with the vehicle. And that's how it shows, it shows you where you're going 
by when you turn the steering wheel, your parking guidelines, that's what they're there for, to show you where you're headed. Okay, uh, you also have front and rear parking sensors. We're gonna go ahead and back up to those vehicles over there to show you how that works. All right, not only do you get that little thing there that's flashing, but you can I can't show you this in the video, but the seats have a pulsating vibration that also uh, alerts you. And then you have an alert over here. You see how you have those bars there? It's a little hard to see the color, but you, the yellow bars are all lit, are lit up. Now I'm gonna back up some more. All right, and now you got yellow and orange. Hard to see that in the video though. And uh, you get another set of warnings here, or set of warning with a bigger icon. And now your seat, it just pulsated, it pulsated three times. And now you get the red warning, and believe it or not, it's very accurate, so we can go back some more. Now it pulsated three times again, and now it's flashing. And now you'll notice here you went from yellow to orange to red. A little hard to see that on the video. And the front sensors work exactly the same way. You can probably see it now better there. Uh, the front sensors work exactly the same way, so we're not gonna just do this twice. Well, one time is good enough. And look how close we got to that vehicle back there. And the pulsating of the seats is really a cool, cool, cool thing. Good, because if you're not even paying attention, uh, the vibration in the seat is going to let you know. Let's just put it in drive. And let's go ahead and pull away. It stays in the rear camera for about 10 seconds, I'm going to say. And then it'll go back, it'll go back to navigation, whatever it is you have on. All right, let's stop right here. I still got a bunch of stuff to show you. Let's start off with the panoramic moonroof so we can get a little bit of lighting for the video. Uh, on the right hand side here, you got your power shade and on the left hand side, your power moonroof. So let's start, this is the panoramic ultra view by the way. And you can open it just a little bit like that as you want. If you press the switch all the way in, it will retract all the way back automatically. You don't have to hold it. Okay, the rear, this portion here, this is the one that opens. That portion back there is only for you to look out of. And if you notice, it's a very, very large um, roof, which pretty much almost takes up all the roof. And it's kind of cool because you can see from back there. So now let's open it over here. And again, you can also open it just a little bit if you want, or tilt it like that, as I just did. See? Or if you press it, the switch in all the way, it'll slide all the way back. Okay. And. Uh, Actually, it stops about three-fourths of the way. If you wanted to go a little further, you press it again. And that is completely open right there. All right, so, um, okay, let's start off here. Um, it has 28,202 miles. Again, it's uh, under a full warranty. Um, the car is running right now. It's a 3.6 liter V6. I'm going to rev the engine now. All right. And the reason I'm doing that is just so you can see the car is running and idling perfectly. And that there are no check engine light on, no airbag light, no service engine soon, nothing like that. Everything is running and working perfectly. The only light that you have to that green light is uh, General Motors daytime driving light. It also shows you what station you're in, okay, uh, whether you're AM, FM, or XM, and it shows you um, your range on the fuel, okay, and also what gear you're in there, which is what we're in now. We are on park. All right, um, let's see here. Still have tons, tons to show you. Let's uh, let's let me show you. The Wheel controls here. You raise the volume right here. Low right here. Okay. Um, these buttons here are to help you navigate about your preset stations. Those are the ones that you set here. Let me put this in audio. Okay, uh, let's see here, audio. And it is a touch screen as you can see here. So uh, your preset stations are, uh, are saved here and if you want uh, uh, to navigate about them, these are, these are the buttons you're gonna press, okay? Um, I'm sorry, these here, okay? And then this here, this takes you from, um, this is uh, changes the select here, shows you, uh, controls your panel over here. I'm pressing the buttons, you see how speed got bigger? Now it got smaller. And it shows the display of the radio. Gives you different options as to what displays your range, showing you your gas gauge. Uh, on the left hand side, you have your, um, uh, your, your heated steering wheel here. Okay, that's to heat your steering wheel, and it lights up over here to let you know. Um, 
uh, what um, uh, whether it's on or not. Okay, uh, you also got your uh, Bluetooth controls, which are here. All right, so once you pair your phone to the Bluetooth, you can ask, uh, answer the phone here and hang up over here, and you can control the speed here, and you have also your uh, distance collision warning here. All right, uh, and besides that, also you have down here your lane departure warning. That's this one right here. Okay, and uh, what that does is when you're in the highway, it, al it uh, alerts you uh, when you're falling out of the lane. Okay. Uh, this one here is to disable the front and rear parking sensors. You have also an economy mode, the okay, case for fuel efficiency. Uh, of course, your shifter is here, and you do have a manual shifting mode. Let me show you how that goes. Reverse, neutral, and drive. And that's how you're going to drive it 99% of the time. But if you want to make it shift manually, you move it over to the left, and now you're in manual shifting mode. And if you want to make it shift, you would just tap up or down to make it shift manually. Okay, I'll show, let me show you what that looks like over here. Alright, we're going to go back down. Right now we're on drive. I'm going to push the lever over to the left, and now it tells me that I'm in sport mode. So if I tap on the plus, it tells me I'm in manual gear 2, okay, 3, and if I want to go down manual 2 and manual 1, or if I want to go back to drive, I push the lever over to the right, and the sport mode is off. So you're in normal uh, automatic transmission shifting. Okay. Um, while we get this done, let me open up in here. A storage up here, and here you got a, a little hard to see here, but you have a, a cigarette lighter adapter for your chargers with a little cap. Let's close that up in here. Um, all right, um, over here you got your emergency brake to engage. You pull up on it to disengage. You step on the brake and push down on it. Okay, cup holders here in the center. In the center console here where you rest your elbow, you got two tier storage, top tier and your bottom tier. Top tier is for smaller stuff, your bottom tier is deeper and down there you have uh, two USB ports, an auxiliary port and a flash card drive as well as a uh, cigarette light adapter for your chargers. Sorry about that. Your main glove box is over here and then there is your owner's manual uh, with its casing and all the booklets that you need for the vehicle's operation. All right. Um. Uh, this button here is to disable uh, your traction control hazards over here, and uh, this is all t uh, single touch. And every time you touch it, the the, the 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 splash here vibrates to let you know that you've activated it. You get cooling and heated seats. Let me show you how that works. You press it once, it lights up in blue to let you know it's cool, and you're high speed. If you press it again, medium, one more time, low. One more time off. If you want to put the heated seats, you press here. You notice it lights up in orange to let you know it's hot. So you're in high, medium, low, and off. Uh, and then your regular AC controls. You do have dual climate control. Like, see, I'm just putting the passenger side here, let's say uh, 66 degrees, while the driver's side is a maximum low. And all that really does is make the AC vents on the right hand side of the vehicle blow at 66, while the ones on the left hand side will blow at low or whatever it is you set it to. All right, let's put it back down low because it's very, very hot outside. Okay, and it tells you the outside temperature right up here, it is 95 degrees outside. Uh, leather uh, wrapped steering wheel with uh, silver and black accents, and I'll pan around it nice and slow. So you can see it's in great shape. In the meantime, let me remind you that we're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is our zip code. Open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays 9 to 5 and always closed on Sundays. All right, you have also an auto dimming rear view mirror that has a sensor up in the top right here that senses bright light. So if somebody puts their high beams on you, it will darken the mirror so it doesn't bother your vision. This vehicle is equipped with the OnStar system. Uh, if you purchase this vehicle from us, we will give you a 90 day free trial with the OnStar at no cost to you. Let me tell you what OnStar does for you. For example, if you get into a car accident and any of the airbags deploy, including the side airbags, it will send an immediate signal to the OnStar Center to let them know you've been involved in an accident. They'll attempt to contact you through the car to make sure you're okay. If you do not respond with a reasonable amount of time, they'll dispatch emergency vehicles to come to your aid. Also, if you happen to lock your keys inside your car, which with the intelligent key is nearly impossible, uh, they provide you with a 24-hour number. You call that number, identify yourself, once they know it's you, they can send an immediate signal to the car to get it open, which will save you a bunch of time and money having to wait for a locksmith and having to pay a locksmith. 
Also, if you have any kind of emergency, press the red button. Your officer center will come on and assist you without emergency. If you are uh, lost and need directions, press the blue button. Your officer center will come on and give you turn by turn directions until you arrive at your destination. If your check engine light comes on, press the blue button. Your officer center will come on, diagnose your vehicle remotely, tell you what's wrong with it, and how to proceed to take care of it. They also have concierge service and roadside assistance. For more details, visit OnStar.com and don't forget to mention our dealer for your 90 day free trial. All right. Uh, you also have the uh, outside temperature. I mean, outside temperatures over here, and on this side here, you got the uh, current time. All right. Um, your disk drive is over here. Um, this is uh, this button here is your power adjustable pedals. This feature allows you to move the pedals away from you or towards you, when, which comes in really handy when you have a very tall driver or a very short driver. Up in the top here is your home link or universal garage door opener, where you can program up to three garage doors or gates if you happen to live in a gated community. You got a set of map lights over here and this is your you got your speaker and your microphone over here this is where you're going to communicate with your Bluetooth and the OnStar Center. The OnStar Center. All right um and you got power folding mirrors. Let's put down by the way all the windows are one touch meaning you don't have to hold the switch for the window to go down or up okay and I'm just unfolding the mirrors there. Now I'm gonna fold them back in just to see, to let you see uh, how they work. All right, now we're pretty much done with the front, so let's go ahead and move on to the back. So once you're done with uh, uh, driving, to turn off the car, you don't have to step on the brake; just hit the push button, and the car turns right off. So now I left the windows open and the moonroof open, but that really has no bearing on the demonstration of the intelligent key. Um, I'm gonna show you how that works. So now you leave the vehicle, pretend your sunroof is open and your windows are up, doesn't really matter for the demonstration. You press here once, and now all four doors are closed. So you never have to take the key out of your pocket. Let's open them up again. One, two, and now all four doors are open. And let's come back here and check this out. All right, so left rear door panel, same way. You got privacy tinted glass. The uh, DVDs, these work. Uh, I, should, I should probably turn them on for you. Um, let me leave the key inside of the car. We'll get the car started really quick. I'm just going to put the key in the cup holder there. Step on the brake and hit the push button start. Alright, we'll leave it on there. I want to light up those uh, Rosen DVDs so you can see how they work. I don't have a movie. Oh, by the way, shoot. I want to show you something. Let me turn off the car and turn it back on. I want to show you the blind zone spot alert. So, let's keep an eye on this here. All right, and that is your blind zone spot alert. When you're driving, um, that's going to light up in yellow, just like it did there. Now, when somebody is in your blind spot, to let you know the lane is not available for switching. So you got a very safe car here. You got blind zone spot alert. You also have the uh, lane departure warning, as well as the um, uh, crash uh, or collision alert as well. So there's your Rosen DVD player. Okay, and you got two of them, obviously. Back here, uh, the middle row passengers, can, can, they also have heated seats. Goes right to high if you press it once. One more time, medium. One more time. Oops. Can't see with my fingers, I can see the camera. Low, and one more time for off. And they can control the rear air back here. They can control the, uh, the temperature over here. They can control the fan speed, turn it on and off, and the mode. Uh, they have uh, the AC vents here and a couple of cigarette lighter adapters here, those pop off so you can uh, use it for your chargers and storage down here. All right, um, this is a five passenger vehicle, two in the front and three in the back. There are no third row seat on Cadillac SRXs. Um, these uh, plastic buttons that you see here, these are for your uh, baby car seat to let you know that you do have anchors in here for your baby car seat. If you don't have a middle, uh, middle row passenger, you can flip this down and use it as a cup holder or armrest and it has storage as well as through trunk access. And you got curtain side airbags back here as well. These seats will, will flip down to go into cargo mode. Let me show you how that works. Pull up on this handle over here, okay, like so. And the seat kind of folds out and gets out of the way and lays down almost completely flat. And uh, this is a 60-40 uh, seat. This is 40% here, 60% over there as is wider. And you can do one side and not the other, or you can do them both. To so go back into passenger mode, release here, lift up, and it's going to 
locked down and you'll see when the, when the, when this red goes away it means it's locked down when it's like that it's to let you know it's disengaged okay all right uh let's go on to the back by the way you got the uh, 20 inch polished wheels with uh michelin tires all right the tires are not new but they still have a good tread left on them they don't need to be replaced they are four wheel disc brakes with tire pressure monitoring sensors and anti-lock brakes all the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape they're not damaged or scuffed in any way they're nice and clear these are the parking sensors i was telling you about there are two on each side of the bumper those are the ones that were beeping earlier when we were backing up uh rear wiper rear window defroster to open up the, the tailgate you can just simply squeeze the tailgate as long as the vehicle is unlocked it will open up this is your cargo area you have storage down here okay and uh, you also have a privacy cargo cover so you pull this out and slide it on these slots and then people will not be able to see your valuables back here to close the tailgate you can use the switch here your remote control or the switch on the driver door panel i showed you earlier 3.6 liter v6 right rear tail light perfect shape let's come around to the passenger side here we'll conclude the video Right rear door panel. I'm sure by now you notice that the panels have no cuts, no tears, no burn holes. None of the speaker covers the damage. You do have a little storage here and here. Give you another look at the interior from a different angle here. The car is in very, very nice shape, very clean. And it's completely loaded up. It is a, a premium collection again, loaded up completely. Right front door panel, same way. Like I said before, power seat, power recliner, and lumbar support not only on the driver's side, but as you can see also on the passenger side. All right, before I conclude this video, I would like to talk to you briefly about financing. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such good credit. We even got some programs for really rough credit. If you live a long distance away, you're concerned about the financing, or you simply want us to get you pre-approved before you come over, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net, right on the home page. You see a tab over the top that says apply for credit, click it, fill it out completely, click submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.